Wild one guys, it's your boy Jack, aka The Balding Refat, coming at you today's video, which is a vlog of Josh's homestead, aka Josh's Koi Farm. So Josh has got a very similar setup uh, to myself and Dazzy's Koi Farm. Uh, if this kind of content interests you and you want to see other people's homesteads and how they run theirs, do me a humongous favour please, swipe up. And around here you're going to see my subscribe button. Hit that for me and hit the bell notification. That way you get to see all the weird and wonderful videos that we put out on this channel. And we share best practices, knowledge and advice. It is completely free of charge to do all it does in essence is helps grow my channel which in turn by you hitting that button enables me to eventually come out of work and do stuff like this full time uh, Josh has been a friend of the channel for a while now um, he's been growing on some koi for the past sort of four or five months uh, no sorry that's a lie he's been growing on some koi now for the past sort of 12 or so months we're going to be doing some bowling up. Uh, we are going to be doing some um, microscope stuff. We're going to be doing some vlogging. We're going to be doing some um, interviews, if you like, interviews. But enough of me waffling on. Let me spin you around and let's get into the homestead. Let's go. Oi, oi, oi. Here we go. Josh's pal here. This is private land, do not worry. Let me get parts up though, and I'll snap back you all in a second. Yeah. Got some boots in there though, mate. And where do you have these from? Say that again. Where do you have them from? A uh, couple of different places, but um, the showers in the Kohaku's are from a bloke in Stourbridge, but they're all from Japan. Yeah. There's a couple of English in there, like you see them, got the Jinmin showers on yeah. them, same English jacket. So how long have you had this up and running for? Six months, Yeah? No, it's class. And how, how deep is it? Three and a half. Four, yeah. Yeah? Three and a half, yeah. Nice, well Yeah? Oh yeah, you can see it just there. So there's a lip that you can see. I like what you're doing with your pants here, that's what I'm going to be doing in the shop, that is. Putting them against the back wall like that. Really good. Yeah. No, it's all good. So are these the uh, all pond solutions ones? No idea. Yeah, I think they are. I had them off a blouse on now. So what media have you got inside of them? There is one in there. Yeah? Yeah. Nice one. And you're heated as well, yeah? This is the auto thing as well, so you just switch it and it beats and it's clean. Yeah. No, spot on. Spot on. Looks really good though, I'm mega impressed. I'm after one of these polytonics myself at the minute. And that looks absolutely gorgeous. Is this some of your brood stock you're breeding from or? Yeah. Lost, So we could draw through and a show of all of things. Are you heating this or? Not yet. I mean, it's pretty warm at the minute, like. Yeah. You say it's not exactly uh, cold in here, is it? No. But once it's time, obviously, get it to the right But that's where I want to be putting the first one spawn. Yeah. You know, so you've got some small ones in there at the minute, haven't you? There's a couple of little. I did have blood. Like, Steve was doing with a big tank and they started to get it. Coming back and all he had to chew it off him. Yeah, see Toby's doing that, that is. That's just coming up. One of the pressurised ones. Yeah. I like it man, it's super neat, super clean. So you've been into keeping fish long? I've always had fish, but 
it's not like this scale. You know yeah. what I mean? I've never even had one of them filters there alone. Yeah. So what made you go into uh, into this then? Just something to do, bored? I was watching you to be fair. <laughs> I'll take that. I'll take that. And honestly, I've not paid him to say that. Well, they're doing a cracking job with these. How old are these? Uh, coming up to about 10 months. They're all roughly the same age. There's, 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 two, there's two in there that are the same age, the rest are the same yeah. age. There's two in here that aren't the same age and the rest all are. Uh, they're all about 10 months old. Oh, some absolutely stunning carcass in there. Do you have much difficulty getting your window in with it being on sleepers? It's just funny. Yeah? Went pretty. There's a bit of a bend on the wood and that, but it ain't gone anywhere, so... You know, it's a proper, uh, proper neat job. Can't bear to tend to Listen for a first attempt, you're on a cracking job. To be fair, it's like I say, it's dead neat, dead uniform. I like the way you've got it all. It's absolutely it's stunning. Progress, oh, it'll never be over. It'll never be over. And you're saying you wanted to put a like a bog filter at the back, yeah? Yeah. Nice blood water all over. Yeah. That'll no, be awesome. That will. Be awesome. Right to bowl some of these up. Yeah. Right, snap back to in a second. Fun. Okay, so we're just going ahead and bowled up some of the fish uh, for you guys to have a look at. Uh, for me, the Kohaku's definitely stand out. I mean, the as you can see from the Fakuin and the, the scales, looks absolutely insane. Big, beautiful chocolate chagoy there. Um, the, only, the only downfall about that one is it has got a little bit of a knock on it, but obviously, as you all know, with chagoys, the moment they bang themselves, they're going to heal black. Um, but that is a perfect specimen of an Azumu Kohaku there with a lightning bolt going straight the way through it. Some really, really nice oyster shells again. You can see the scalage coming through on there. Some nice sankeys. Just going to get the orange to develop into the red, but UV light will do that. And the beckos as well. A lot of sumi that's hiding underneath. And then we've got the old chiba just down here. That's another one that stood out to me. Scales on that. The Benny finishes perfectly between the nose and the mouth. Very, very good example. Some nice gym ring showers. Fantastic looking fish. A stunning, uh, I thought it was a, um, oh, what was it? A, a crashy boy, but it's not. It's actually a lemon harawaki. So you can see that it's got the lemon coloration on top, it's got the white body underneath, and it's got the perfect lateral zip. Straight down the middle. S literally scale perfect, head to tail. And then again, you look at the big two step here. The scalation that is absolutely stunning. There's the Izumi I was talking about with a perfect lightning, lightning bolt from head to, head to tail. Again, the shower. White, red, and black on the head. Some nice sumi developing through the uh, through the Benny as well, and it's got blue eyes. If you had to pick your favourite, which one would it be? And then you as well. Scale this one all day. The Harawaki. Yeah. What about you? I like the gym ring shower I do, but also it's got to be, no, it's got to be the Kohaku. You're doing, a, you're doing an incredible job raising these on. 
So these are just coming up to 10 months old. So these aren't even toe saw just yet. Uh, I'd probably say the majority are about sort of eight to nine inches. There are some a bit bigger than that. This one here is probably sort of 10 to 12 on this Beko. But again, there's some more Sumi patches coming through. I mean, the Chigoi is absolutely insane. No gill plate deformities on them. Super clean, super happy fish. Like I say, there is still an awful, awful lot more in here. This is just the sort of hand selected ones that we've taken out. But yeah, all for one, I'm well impressed. Okay, so here's the next bowl. So these fish are for sale. Um, so if you do like anything, hit me up in the comments down below or drop me an email, jack at reefaraquatics.com or my number's on the bottom of the website of reefaraquatics.com um, and I'll reach out to Josh. I'll put your offer to him and see what he says. Uh, it's only based at 20 minutes from the store. So relatively close, but there's some absolute beautiful fish in here. Uh, big Kajaku there. Some Sankey, some showers, some nice metallics. Some Kiat series that are just starting to develop through. Some showers. Some really nice Beckos as well. Again, Sumi starting to break through on them. I'll probably say average size in here is about eight inch. I mean, the Sumi, if you look at the Sumi on that Beko there, it's super, super black. Absolutely beautiful. I mean, the metallic lovers out there, there's a really, really nice specimen there. Like I say, these aren't my fish, but hit me up in the comments so I can reach out to Josh and see what he wants to do. I mean, look at that. Super interesting. I love the way the colours break all over that one. That's got a little bit of white on the head as well. You can see this uh, key at the Suri here. The Sumi starting to break through in patches all over it. Looks to be female as well. Yeah, hit me up in the comments. Okay, so I just want to quickly show you the, uh, the hanging baskets on the back. So I'm going to borrow this idea for the store. So all it is is bonsai wire that's actually kept round and uh, drilled through the, uh, the top there. And it's pulled through and actually hung on a screw. Obviously it's stopping uh, the koi eating any of the plants. There's a few small pieces uh, where they've been nibbling the green fires off the bottom. But from the bowling up, everything's all settled in and happy as Larry. Uh, Josh was saying there's a few changes to come out here. So all this here is being um, concreted off. Uh, so it's easy accessible down. There's a load of um, planted areas going in here too. Um, and then it's going to lead up uh, by the uh, outdoor, well, I say outdoor, indoor swimming pool. And then obviously all this here is being sorted out around the outside, just some goldfish in here and stuff. But the plans that he's got with this place is going to be absolutely insane. Um, he has got full access to all the fields around the back as well. That's all his land too. So obviously all this here is being done. Um, but yeah, absolutely insane. Snap match all in a second. Okay, so there we have it. There is Josh's homestead. There's a lot, a lot, a lot of big plans uh, that he's got in. And I, for one, uh, I'm really excited to see where he takes his venture um, and some of the fish that he's got to spawn off as well. Some of the brood stock that he's looking at is going to be absolutely insane as well. Obviously, if you guys want to feature on the uh, Koi Breeders of the UK and you're breeding your own fish, please feel free to reach out and give me a call. I'd love to come over and vlog your setup. It's always interesting to see the way that people do their stuff, but for me this is what this whole community is about sharing knowledge sharing advice and getting each and every one of us on board and all growing together as a community and like i say really really excited to see what josh has got going on uh, follow me on facebook and twitter which is at the balding reefer instagram is slightly different that's at the dot balding dot reefer uh, any of your pond needs aquarium needs you know the drill by now reeferaquatics.com uh, but other than that stay safe stay sane most importantly people Stay happy.
Bowling Reefer out.